The chemical processes we find in our kitchens are easy to grasp, usually at least. So are the possibilities for saving energy in the kitchen. Similar processes take place in the plant of the chemical industry, one of the strongest economic powers in Europe, but in highly complex relationships. Saving energy here is often a major challenge, one worth working on. The chemical industry is also one of the most energy-intensive industrial sectors. The technologies we apply here are primarily reactive technologies. Then there are processes like distillation, extraction, absorption, crystallization and drying. Basically, the idea is running a plant like this under the most optimum possible process conditions. This means we have to find the optimum temperatures, the optimum pressures, the right proportion of substances in mixtures, reflux conditions in distillation columns. Working together with BASFSE and in a separate campaign together with Lonza AG, the Fraunhofer Institute for Industrial Mathematics ITWM has developed various tools for a better understanding of these complex processes and for providing transparent decision support. We've been working on a model which gives us the possibility to adjust a kind of virtual button on the computer and then lets us see how the plant would react in reality. Our contribution was a certain amount of our expertise in the field of multi-objective optimization between physical and knowledge-based models and data foundations. I have balance equations and I have physical laws that describe for me how substances behave. And there's one more component. We have measured data. And mathematics provides us with tools for learning something from the measured data. And all of this taken together gives us what we call a model. Tasks requiring mathematics at the highest level of complexity that can only be resolved in painstaking experimentation and in close collaboration with the engineers. The result? A software tool tailored to the plant capable of calculating and representing what-if scenarios. I can use various sliders to restrict parameters, and then the software shows me a graphic representation of what I actually need to do with all the parameters I can adjust in order to always operate as optimally as possible. We've already used the tool with a distillation column and have seen that it can cut energy consumption by about 10%. When I know the interrelationships, then I can essentially find out how I have to set these operational parameters. This means I can ensure optimum operations. Making complexity more manageable. Models by Fraunhofer ITWM can help conserve resources in the future for industry and environment.